Hey guys, we are at the Mitchell Opera House. This place has never been investigated. It's stunning on the inside. We don't know what the paranormal claims are, but we're willing to find out. We're going to take one for the team. You think? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. Let's go on inside and see what's going on in the Mitchell Opera House. First of all, this place is gorgeous. It's recently renovated and I'm absolutely in love. It's November, we have heat, so life doesn't get better than that for a ghost hunter, right? And a bathroom. Actually, somebody contacted me on Facebook about doing an investigation here, and on a whim, I contacted the Opera House, and here we are. So, I don't know what the claims are here. There's been some mediums that have been in that says the place is haunted. I, we don't know any specifics, so we're pretty much going in blind which is honestly my favorite thing to do our first impressions are it's comfortable it's clean it's warm we got a couple vibes here and there but all in all it seems kind of quiet right now and this place is awesome um, apparently it's been everything from originally um, an opera house playhouse like a bunch of, of the vaudeville acts used to come through here um, and then it was city hall it's been a number of things but now the current owner has brought it back to being an opera house the downstairs dressing rooms they actually look really really good um, which is deceiving because it makes us feel rather comfortable in here. So I'm excited to get investigating. Um, we've actually been off for a little while, so it's always exciting to, um, to come back into it. So yeah, this place is amazing. We'll see what it has in store for us. Some of the biggest acts, vaudeville acts, musical acts, have all played here. There's been presidents, absolutely everything. It was the first place people in Mitchell could watch a movie. It was a teen canteen, which sounds kind of fun. It was also the city hall, including the fire department and police headquarters. But now, it's the Mitchell Opera House. We are so ready to get things started, and things started before we weren't even ready. Eh, it's how we do things. We got the video camera running. Can you show yourself to me? There it was again, holy shit. I did not see it. Oh, mom, I'm, got, I'm going crazy. Ooh. You hear that? I think it was something that ran. It looked like a fucking ghost and it ran. And you heard it step on the stairs. I did. Holy shit, oh my God. Oh, covered my in goosebumps. Water. What? That was, How tall, Carter? That uh, looked like five and a half feet. That's amazing. Like, I'll show you exactly what I saw. Oh my God. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Okay, maybe it was a little shorter. I saw a shoulder. Right. I, I feel a child. Yeah, and it was go like. And then we heard it. It's hard to breathe over there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll just kind of stay back. Thank you so much. I'm getting all teary-eyed. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> there it is again. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want, guys. That was insane. I've never. I just ever... heard a voice, Carter. Was that outside? I didn't hear a voice. What in the actual what? Clinton leaves for a few seconds. You saw it. Carter saw an apparition. Sadly, it wasn't caught on video, but I believe him. 100 million percent then did you just hear that an evp an intelligent response to me thanking the ghosts for their activity it says you're welcome what guys that was insane i've never that was awesome i've never seen anything that clear Oof. is clayton out there 
because I literally heard a male voice. Carter, that's amazing. That was insane. I can't believe I saw that. It was literally, see where that trash can is? I, no, that was that light, but where that trash can is, yeah. it just darted straight that way. And Did it like just appear there or yeah, you looked just, and it was there? Well, I was just staring there and all of a sudden it just, poof, there it was. It just appeared. And then it would, only lasted about three chairs, was gone. And then I freaked out. Then we heard the noise on the stairs. And then we heard it a second time. Yeah. Oh God, that was crazy. I I wish that could have been on camera because that was like. Oh, I it was legit. on camera. I don't know if I it captured, it, captured it. it, but that was crazy. So we've been here for a couple hours, and we originally we thought it was a cozy place, nothing was happening too much, and. Uh, Clayton went to go get some food and we were just kind of sitting here trying to listen for things, draw things out, and um, I kept seeing shadows over by the uh, entrance doors. And all of a sudden, I'm just looking straight at it because I'm like, I know I'm seeing stuff, I'm not going crazy here. And all of a sudden, I just see a full, not a full apparition, but an apparition from about chin to wrist down of looks like a child about around 12 running straight to the right and then it disappears and then we hear noises like it's going up the stairs and uh, I, I flipped out I freaked out it was all recorded on an iPhone unfortunately but uh, we also got an EVP right after that it's crazy everything just kind of happened at once and uh, the best way I can describe the look of that apparition is um, there's a TV show that I used to watch it's called red versus blue and there was a ghost in it and they actually got it spot on. It's white and it's just kind of see-through and where the everything just kind of denses up, it gets really thick white. It looks like a CGI ghost and I, that's why I was, just couldn't believe it. So maybe people have the accurate representation. I don't think you want me messing with those. Okay, so what I'm doing now, since Carter saw an apparition in the back of the house, um, set up the laser grid as well as a static cam. So in theory, um, since the apparition didn't appear on camera, um, we're wondering if it will be captured in a different dimension, you could say. So in theory, if the apparition does run through the back of the house again, it will be in between the laser lights and the back wall, so we will catch it on the static cam. I'm speaking directly to the child or the person who was in the back of the room. If you ran away because you were scared of us, there's nothing to be scared of. We actually want to talk to you. I'm just going to kind of sit out here. All right. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. Did you intentionally show yourself to Carter? Did you hear that? Yes. What it was sounded that? like a voice. A child's voice. Like, yeah. And it had a reverberation to it. If that was you answering me, thank you so much. Mm hmm. That's amazing. They it's in the stairwell. They love to be talked to. So if that's you that's making the noise in the stairwell, thank you. We're going to be here a while, so we want you to be comfortable with us first. Hold on just a sec. I hear a very bassy, like somebody running around up there. I do not hear that. I don't hear it. Okay. We heard your voice just a second ago and it was lovely. You can keep talking to us. What is that? Do you hear that? What are you hearing? Almost like a conversation. Yes, sir. 
I've been hearing it for the last 15 minutes. I don't hear anything. But it's like it's, like distant. I can't pick out words. Distant, very yeah. distant. Almost like residual conversations that would happen in the seats here. Yes. Yes. Did you hear that? No. It was like Sarah or two syllables. Again, very far away, a child's voice. Hold on. <laughs> What'd you see? A, an, a quick shadow, like from where the chair that the GoPro's sitting on, mm -hmm. just moved to the right. Towards the stairs. But it was like as high as the bottom of that picture frame. Yep, yep. But it was just, I mean, it was just a, a, a shadow. But still. Sarah, is that you back there? Sarah, will you come sit with me? It's a car outside. It's weird. Sounds like exactly what Carter saw. Right when you said that though, I looked over and I think I caught it at the corner of my eye. To whatever's in the back of the house, why do you keep running away? Did you guys move right before he said, why do you keep running away? Move like this. I heard shuffling of feet. I didn't shuffle. Why do you keep running away from us? Are you running from something? Are you playing? What was that? That was a little girl. Yeah. I didn't hear anything. I saw something. What did you see? Right on that picture back there. Yeah. It just got a brighter green and then dimmed down. You heard, did, did somebody else hear the child? I didn't hear anything like definitive. I just heard like what we heard earlier. Like a yelp. Could you let us know that you're here for sure? Can you knock on the walls? Can you stomp your feet really hard on the steps? Is your name Sarah? I just saw something again. It was up by that green line. Oh, did you guys, no, you're not. What? I'm not gonna chase it. One of the lights just disappeared in the seats. Last, second to last or last row. See, that's right. I saw, I saw some up at the top by that green light up by the ceiling. And then you saw that right after I saw that. So it could have been moving all the way down. Is someone watching us? That's fine. I mean, we're watching you. I'm coming up to the stage. You're the first audience member of our live show. What if I come sit out here? They're up in the balcony now. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. If you're here, can you tap me on the shoulder? Maybe tug on my hat? If you're not comfortable with Clayton that close to you, you have to let us know. He's not going to hurt you. You know, we've been to a lot of places where there are children and they end up having a lot of fun with us. And we play games and they interact. And then when it's time to go home, we just go home. If you just tap me on the shoulder, then you can run away. Kind of like playing tag. Mm -hmm. There's something. Do you hear it? Behind you. I know. It's still walking. Does it sound like it's getting closer to you? I don't hear it anymore. I just got like an overwhelming feeling. Of? Just of. I think it's right behind you. Of being I overwhelmed. I keep seeing like 
a white mass in my screen. It like walked past you, and then right when you said that, it like walked up behind you. In your screen? Yeah, like I saw it in the screen. I don't know if it was like light reflection, or if it was just like coincidence that happened at the same time. I'm, I'm covered in something. Yeah. Just remember, we're not here to hurt you or harm you, and you can't do this. You can't do that to us either. Remember at Octagon Hall again. I'm just going to remind you that I felt like that spirit was just feeling close to you. So if you feel uncomfortable, don't freak out. Just walk away slowly. Yeah, we're here out of love, light, peace, and positivity, and we only want to interact with spirits of the same. Oh, fuck me. Christina, I don't... I don't... I don't feel good. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. Come on up. I don't feel good. Okay. Like you can curl up? I don't know. I just feel like a, like a... Like I don't feel good. Do you need to go outside? You've got to remember, the first time they've connected with anybody. Look at my arms right now. I'm. Oh yeah. And I'm. I, you know, I started feeling like a major pressure, and then I get it not like choking, but just like pressure. Right. Just like connection. I don't know, but I don't like it. It okay. didn't feel like, hey, let's play. <laughs> Felt like, hey, can I borrow your body? I don't know. I'm shaking right now. And I was back there two seconds. I can only imagine what you're feeling. Right now I'm feeling like really dizzy. Like, like my head's really just like spinny. Um, like I almost, like I can't find center. When I was first back there and I asked if it could tap my shoulder or like tug on my hat, shortly after I felt like almost like there was something getting closer behind me and then when about that time Carter said that he s thought he saw like something behind me and that's when it felt like someone just put like a weighted blanket on me and I just felt like like really heavy and like a pressure but it wasn't like good I don't I'm not saying that it felt like negative or malicious but it didn't feel good so we decided to throw the laser grid up and the camera to watch it and we were just kind of going to watch the uh back of the room because that's where we've been kind of seeing everything and hearing everything and uh so we were just you know investigating doing our thing and uh we just kept hearing noises and stuff back there and we just kept getting really intrigued so we kept kind of pushing it and pushing it and then uh clayton decided to go back there and sit and just see if he can talk to whatever it is and see if he can comfort it and get on its level. And uh, whatever it was, I think it just didn't appreciate him being in its space. And uh, it just kind of showed him that, put him in a weird situation. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. I was sitting on the stage and I saw like a shadow kind of move across the back of the house. Um, and it was about where Carter saw it as well. So I thought maybe I'll just go sit back there because we heard a little girl's voice. So I was thinking if like, I'm nice to it, just go sit back there and let them know that, you know, we're here out of love, light, peace, positivity. We're not here to hurt them or harm them um, and just try to make them feel more comfortable. So I went and sat in the back of the house about where we were seeing it. So I just asked it if it could tap me on the shoulder, or maybe tug on my hat a little bit. And then I started feeling like a sensation of gravity pushing against the back of my head. Not like a hand or something like that, just like engulfing me, which was weird. And I just kind of ignored it and thought it might be mental or subconscious. And then Carter made the comment that he thought he saw something behind me. And about that time, it felt like a weighted blanket was just put on me. Um, and there was a heavy pressure on my chest. And I told Christina, I was like, I don't, like, I don't like this. And about that time we heard a very loud noise and it was directly behind me. Um, so I more or less just got up and got out of that area. Um, what is that? What is that? That was a lot of moving around. 
It sounded like a chair scooting. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, this, we came into this place so like, oh, it's such a nice new building, blah, blah, blah. But it's not. <laughs> the thing is, it's not a new building. It looks new because it was just renovated. Um, my main concern is that whatever is here isn't here for the same reason we're here. <laughs> so, the place is active. Um, it, I feel like she's trying to connect with him. But it wasn't me, so I didn't feel the anxiety that Cl Clayton was feeling. Um, but as we all know, my, my deal is I don't feel that these spirits have male intent. I feel like they are trying to figure out a way to communicate with us. And especially for a place that's, this is the first time it's ever been investigated, I feel like the anxiety we're feeling in this theater is is the nervousness of the spirits. They want to interact with us, but they're not sure how. And I feel like when she went to interact with Clayton, because he was asking her to tap him on his shoulder, I personally feel she didn't know how to do that. So he felt all of her energy enveloping him. Now, I don't know if that's what happened or not, but that's what I like to think is what happened. I am trying to figure out when these spirits communicate with us, how they communicate with us, what these feelings are we're feeling, what they're feeling, and, and I'm just trying to put it all together, but that's my 10 cents. So what I'm gonna set up right here is what we call the Wonder Box. And this is a way for you to actually speak to us, which is actually really cool. We can find out if your name is Sarah. We can find out if you're 13 or if you're 11 or if you're a young lady or if you're a child. And you're supposed to be able to take those sounds and manipulate them and tell us what you want to tell us. This is one of the most amazing scientific things that's out there right now for you to speak to us. know the name of the spirit that touched my friend Clayton. Oh, I smell electrons, you know, like. Do you have your K2? Huh? Do you have your K2? No. You know what I'm talking about? Like that electronic smell? Yes. So this gray box in my hand, I don't smell it anymore. If you come touch it, it'll light up like all different colors of the rainbow. I just felt like the feeling a feather would make if it brushed across my hand. Do you not want to get that close to me? No. No. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm gonna put Motion this- light. I'm gonna put this on the stair so this camera's on it. It just like popped up. Oh, yeah. See how it looks like it's holding on to the back of it? No, oh, honey, that's the chair. No, this oh. is the seat. Is that the seat See you were how, sitting in? How it like looks like it's peeking over it. Close on. Yeah. Awesome. You'll see it, it just said. I heard it's very sweet. <laughs> Do we scare you? Yeah. So 
sounded like, yeah. We'll back up a little bit. Let's go up towards, maybe, I'm gonna stay like in the middle. If you guys wanna go up there, you can. I'm gonna sit right here, okay? I don't see you, but I'd like to. I heard, do you see us? What Jeez. was that? Yep, just let it keep going. I think that's the spirit box making that noise. No, it was this. Like, the same clicking. Do you hear too. that? What did it say? Uh -uh. Turn around. I'm turned around. Who turned around? There's three of us. We're all facing different directions. Can one of you tell us your name, please? There's something walking back there. Behind you? In the back of the house. Is there a young man here? David? Yeah. Did that say I'm David? How's that? David, that's amazing. David, did you work here? I was something. Do we want to try to move to somewhere else? Like maybe go to the basement or something? Yeah. Like we've been in here for a while. Okay, looking back, this is kind of crazy. It's almost like they were investigating us. I'm gonna do a quick replay of some of the things they said and you all can judge for yourself. I thought I heard it's very <laughs> Do we scare you? I'm gonna sit right here, okay? I don't see you, but I'd like to. Is there a young man here? David? Yeah. Did that say I'm David? How's that? Kind of cool, actually. I mean, the place has never been investigated. Maybe in their time and space continue thing, they're investigating us. Hmm. Food for thought. So we just uh, finished a Spirit Box Wonder Box session in, in the actual theater. Um, because of all the activity and sounds we're hearing in here. We got nothing from the spirit box. So I figured I'd get the portal app out to make things a little easier for them. Um, and I think we made contact with a spirit named David. So this place actually used to be a jail and a fire station and city hall and so many other things. I thought we'd just come and find some wonderful little happy theater spirits, but maybe there's a little more here than we thought. Noises going on tonight. So we've set up a baby monitor where we've got the recorder upstairs. Oh, look at that handsome face. And I swear to you, if this baby monitor goes off, I'm leaving. Uh, and we brought down, well, that's a flashlight. We've got the bouncing rods and flashlight for a flashlight session. There is. But don't you have to go up? What was that? Tell me you heard that. Was it a voice? Yes. Yeah. Did you hear it? I was tapping my foot. No, I heard a voice. What did you hear? I don't know, but I heard a voice outside. You didn't hear that? I heard a thump in the stairway over there. It sounded like a really old lady's voice. Really? Yes. No. Swear, just like that. That's kind of creepier than children. She's made me lose my mind. <laughs> well, let's go straight with the EVPs then. I was saying before we started all this. I 
I see you keep looking in the mirror, Clayton. Well, because I can see out in the hallway. <laughs> Don't look in the hallway. I would rather be prepared if something's gonna rush up in here. What are, what are we gonna do if something rushes up in here? We're screwed either way. I don't know. I can watch just... to the exit. Love you guys. You can but... Splash Rockstar on it. Call it holy water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we haven't talked much to you guys down here. We're here to love, light, peace, positivity, and happiness. We're just here to communicate with you and to tell your story. What this is in my hand is a way for you to communicate with us and answer any questions we may have. Is there anyone down here with us? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me how old you are? Can you tell me why you're here? Okay, so we haven't talked much to you guys down here. We're here to love, light, peace, positivity, and happiness. We're just here to communicate with you and to tell your story. What this is in my hand is a way for you to communicate with us and answer any questions we may have. Is there anyone down here with us? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me how old you are? Can you tell me why you're here? We're just here to tell your story. Whether you were here for the theater, for the jail, for the fire station. For the teen canteen. For the teen canteen. We're just trying to help you out so you can tell what story you want told and maybe move on. I just thought I saw a little shadow on the stairs. Put that out there. Is it Gladys? We'll call her. The old lady. Who is the mature lady that Clayton heard her voice. <laughs> mature. I'm trying to... Word selection. Make it sound nice. Are you the only one down here? Probably because she can't get back up the stairs. Bro, she probably hear you. <laughs> I know. But he's all, you know, Mr. Funny Man down here. Think it's fucking funny. <laughs> I just can't get my shit together. I was gonna ask if she was stuck here. I thought she was gonna think I was making fun of her for being literally stuck downstairs. Let us alone speak. Apparently. I I mean I know that it, like when I heard it I heard it, that type of voice. No no I get it I get it. And we needed to laugh. What are you looking at with that look on your face? I'm out in the hallway. Quit looking out there. You're well, gonna just play tricks on yourself. I, just, I would rather see it than not see it. I'd rather see it now and like step up than just look up and it be there. You know this doesn't happen like the movies, right? Well. Yeah. God, I hope hope not, <laughs> cause like that's where it gets Do scary. Do we want to try a flashlight session? Sure. Carter's an old man. I'm getting so tired. Back in the good old days, I used to be able to do this three times a week. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are! No, oh, thank you. Look, you can look in the mirror. This is a cool shot. Yeah, but I can't see that. I'm holding like a camera there. I'm like, it's fine. Gladys is protecting us. Gladys, if you're protecting us, can you turn on the flashlight? Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> 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 Way. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Please. What? It's literally been off. The entire time. It was off time. the whole time. Oh my God. That's not real life. See? She likes me. <laughs> she can be a witty old woman and thinks it's hilarious. See? Yeah, she has a good sense of humor. See? She has a good sense of humor. It just came off. Maybe she likes 
she finds humor being an old woman. Something is touching my side right here. Gladys, are you alone down here? Turn on the flashlight for yes. Oh. That's cool. What's that? Oh, well, I just mean the turn thing, you know. Turn off the flashlight. All the way off. I mean, here's the deal. We didn't even explain to her how to use this. Yeah, that is kind this of This place has never been investigated. She's and old and wise. Only turning on. She's old and wise. She's she old is and wise. old and wise. Gladys, did you ever watch Ghost Hunters? I'm Whoa! Done. I'm done. <laughs> that would be how she knows. But uh, how? But that's recent, right? This place is. Was, she said it's recent. It's set empty from 2000. Like. Gladys, did you work here? Yes. Oh, okay. Gladys, do you still work here? Gladys, are you alive? No, she's yes. Oh gosh, that's scary. Did you work here when this was a canteen? Did you work here when they did high school graduations here? Oh, oh okay. Gladys, honey, can you just turn it off? We have lots more questions. You please. We're not going to leave you anytime soon. Go and turn it off. Thank you. Gladys, did you watch Ghost Hunters on TV? Okay, turn it off, Gladys. I so have your name, Gladys. I think you've got the crazy. Gladys, did you come from the funeral home? Mm. Uh, that was definitive as the other ones. She said she worked here, right? right. Gladys, are you stuck here? Do you like it here? Yeah. That was, that was definitive. I smell lavender. Shh, what's that? The voice. That sounds like footsteps. Turn the light off, Gladys. I have a question for you. It's very important. Turn it all the way up. I don't think I know what you're going to ask. Is it scary? A little bit. Gladys, please turn it off. She says she's in love now. Is there anything we should be afraid of here? No. Time out. She's good. I know. She thinks it's just her. I don't think there's anything we should be afraid of here. I know, I but know. it makes great TV when they say yes. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so out of shape with holding this up with one hand. This mature lady next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys, are you having fun right now answering our questions? Not at all. Are you still I here? I don't think she's here anymore. Did I scare her with my question? Gladys, can you come back in here? Oh. I got loose bones from there. So Gladys, again, we're only here out of love, light, peace, and positivity. We only want to learn about you and your life. We don't want to take you from here. You're actually not allowed to leave here with us or any of our equipment. I think she's okay with that. So again, we're just trying to learn about you. That's the whole reason that we're here. Turn it all the way off. So we can ask you more questions, please. You know it'd be crazy if this was like Morse code? I 
understanding or something. <gasps> that was all the way along. Okay, you need to learn more Me? Yeah. Carter. No. No. <laughs> Carter is my brain. He's the tech guy. Gladys. By default. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys, is there a child upstairs? Uh, okay. Cool. Gladys, turn it off. Is it a boy? Is that quick what? Gladys, do you keep the bad things away? Gladys, do you protect this entire building? Yep. Gladys, can you leave this room? Not actually leave, but tell us if you are able to leave. Yeah, are you able to leave this room? I'm sorry. Don't leave the room. <laughs> Damn, I thought you were friendly. <laughs> you know how it like, goes into these lulls where it's not like nothing happens? Yeah. What if she is like stepping out and coming back in? Like protecting us from evil? No, no she like, there's nothing bad here. You just said to leave, and she's like, all right, and just left. And we're like, wait, 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 wait don't, don't leave. Or about some time, like, if she's just walking out, like, looking around and coming back in, answering for a little bit. Is there a child here named Sarah? It's just not going full <clears> off. <throat> I know. Well, and it's also not going full off. All right, turn the light off. Completely off. Ask her if she likes him. I just saw a flash of light. No, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. No. Jesus, oh my oh, fucking Lord. Lord. That is horrible. <laughs> like, jeez. You know I'm gonna take that, all three of us jumping, and put that in the teaser, right? That's fine. <laughs> but it's just the air conditioning every freaking time. But of course it's like, wow, I thought I heard something. So we're like, <laughs> Are there more than five spirits here? I don't think she's in here. Where'd you go? Gladys. Oh my god, it just made noise. What'd you do? Yeah, it did. It went shh, shh. Uh -huh. Like something made noise up there. Like, no. Is it turned all the way up? Yeah, it is. You guys can sit next no. to it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay. You might need to like put it by your ear. Do these light up when the noise is happening? No. That's just the volume control. Or volume meter. It's just dead. It is. Gladys, are you here? Is someone else here? David, can you... Oh, shit. What? I said David, it went no, in no. here. I swear to God. Flashlight's on. David, can you come down here? I did it again. No, David. stop. Uh, don't invite him down here. <laughs> David, you are not allowed to come down here. Gladys, keep his ass up there. Does it sound like... Is that what you were hearing, Carter? Mm -hmm. okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yep, we're good. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, My battery's about to. <laughs> the flashlight just flashed bright. That's <laughs> like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. And we were getting some weird vibes up here earlier, and uh, we were just kind of feeling, you know, off about everything. And uh, we did a flashlight session downstairs and there was this lady named Gladys. She seemed like a very positive woman. She uh, told us that there's nothing to worry about here, no negative energies. She watches over the whole place and uh, it, it was a good experience down there. We go into the first dressing room and we're just kind of feeling things out and all of a sudden I hear like an elderly woman's voice. Um, and that's as best as I can explain it. So then we just decided to start doing a flashlight session, just not to the elderly woman, just in general. And at one point, earlier I joked that her name was Gladys, just joking. And so at one point, I asked if it was Gladys, and then from then on out, every question that we ask, 
it made sense if it was this elderly woman. And then when we were wrapping that session, it was almost like this huge breath of fresh air. So it's times like those that this is really enjoyable because not everything in the afterlife is demonic or evil or after your soul. Um, there are good people in life and there are good people in afterlife and Gladys was one of them. But one of the weird things was, is when I went and sat by the baby monitor that we had set up down there, we had the speaker downstairs and the recorder up here. Every time I would mention the name David, there'd be a little bit of interference on the baby monitor. So I'm still not sure what to think about all that. I hear two females talking to each other. It's gone. That's what I heard earlier, it was two females. You couldn't tell what they were saying? Uh-uh. You could just tell it was a conversation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we, keep, we kept hearing people up here. We're not up here to encroach on your space by any means. We're just up here to learn more about you. If you'd like to give us a sign by making a noise, let me get away from the edge before you do. You hear that? Sound like on, the stage. on the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's the same noise we kept hearing over yep. here. It's like we've come over here, so they've gone over there. You don't hear it? No, I don't hear anything. It, it's like a it's muffled... Like muffled speaking. Mm -hmm. It's like they're, they're just wrong. having a conversation. It's like if we were the only ones in the balcony and there were people sitting down there, it's like we would be hearing them speaking down there. And it's like the longer we're silent, the more it builds. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the cameras are picking it up. No way. I'm not hearing anything. Because I have to like... It's our crazy. I have to like try to listen, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm down to like 15 minutes. Somebody want to do a dowsing rod session? Sure. Whoa. What? Shadow. Walked out of that open door on the stage. What? Went behind the... The wall behind the flag there, low to the ground. Oh, now a light just went. I didn't see that. I didn't either. Low, low, low to the ground. I was looking like on the ground by where you just said. Okay, so these rods that I have in my hand, they're so that you can communicate with me. And typically it's yes or no questions. And if you answer yes, you can cross the rods. They're really easy to move. Um, yeah, and if the answer is no, then you can just leave them, or I'll ask you uh, to uncross them. Is there a child up here with us? Cross the rods for yes. Is there anyone up here with us at all? Cross the rods for yes. If there's something up here with us, please cross the rods. Oh. What does that mean? That means there's something up here. Can you uncross the rods? Maybe they just figured out how to use it. Are you what we heard in the staircase? And they're crossed. Again, we're out of love, light, peace, and positivity. Not here to hurt you, harm you, or take you away. 
We just want to learn about you. I don't believe it. Nothing's registering on the connect. <laughs> Can you point to where you are? It's pointing to the stage. I have goosebumps. <laughs> That's because fucking nuts. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> no, it no. moved. So maybe when I was saying, is there a male up here? Is there a female up here? Because no, there because isn't. they're down there. They're down there. How do they do that if they're down there? The force. You guys are <laughs> magical. It's awesome. I don't want to ask this. Don't ask it then. Don't ask it. Are you everywhere? Cross the rods for yes. How, how does this even work? I don't know, and I'm like looking up in the corner, like... You feel like something's No, out. just to like... Oh, to steady yourself. To steady, yeah. Uncross the rods. Do you know who Gladys is? Cross the rods for yes. Well, that's not a fucking name. Do you know who the elderly woman downstairs is? Cross the rods for yes. Are you the person we were talking to earlier? Cross the rods for yes. Switch me. What was that? I don't know. The noise we've been hearing all night. Show yourself to me. No, remember what happened last time. We're not doing this. Please. We hear you, we just want to see you. I'm not upset. I just want proof that it's you. Trying to be nice. What? Trying to be nice. Please. I know. We just have to understand if they don't want to, we can't make them. Yes. Because they have given us a lot tonight. They have. And we thank you. Thank you for giving us everything tonight. We really, really, really appreciate it. I just, I just want to show the world that you're here. See that noise stop? With a picture of you. This just takes your picture. Can you just walk up to the landing on the stairs for me, please? What was that? Same ticking in the same spot. <clears throat> I feel like that's good enough. Do right. it. Do and, it. And I mean. <laughs> Let's call it. That was a good run this time. So we just finished up at the uh, Mitchell Opera House. It was a lot more interesting than I thought. When we first came here to do a location scout, we just kind of got a little bit of vibes, like good vibes, but nothing like prominent. We didn't even hear anything. It felt comfortable. And even when we got here, it felt comfortable. But about two hours in, once we started getting into it, we started hearing all kinds of stuff. And then from there on out, the whole night was just like constant. And holy cow. So when we first got here, we were kind of joking with one another about how, how calm and how comfortable it felt here. And then it was like the moment we started investigating, it just got a little intense. And it's times like those when you let your guard down that you get some of the most prominent evidence. Do I think this place has something here? Without a doubt. Do I think you should come here and check it out for yourself? <laughs> Without a doubt. Really just came in blind and wow, did it impress us. Wow, I really wasn't expecting much when we got here and just about every spot we did an investigation and we got some sort of activity and honestly, that's why we do this. Now were questions answered about who's haunting the Opera House? Not really, but I think it leaves it open to maybe come back and do another investigation here real soon. So I'm pretty stoked with what we got here. I'm getting the uh, tablet for the Okay. Just gotcha.
damn it. <laughs> I was just going to start rattling the seats, but that wasn't as fun. <laughs> okay, so I'll go upstairs and plug this one.